Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you these really cute fairy journal cards that I made. Um, made two sizes. This size is just regular printed and then I printed two to a page so I got the smaller size. I just uh, put them on, I backed them on um, file folders. But you could use cardstock, you know, whatever, um, coffee dyed paper. You could sew around them. But this is a freebie that I got from a Facebook group called Happiness and Crafting. And it's the group that goes along with G. Kerr, her YouTube page. And I'll put the links below to both of those. And every Friday, she has a freebie. And a few weeks ago, this was the freebie, and it came on one sheet of paper, and you, you print it out, and it's actually got the back collage. It's got the little girl and the dragonfly wings. It's it's so simple. And I'm, I can't remember if the words came with it or not. I don't know. And all I did was just I put some... Um, corrugated cardboard from a, a box that I had. I just tore it, inked it up, and put it on there. So I thought today that I would try to make some with the stuff that I have in case you don't have the freebie or whichever. I just wanted to have some different options because I really like them. They're really cute. And uh, so we're going to put these off to the side, and I'm going to see what I've came up with with what I have. Um, I'm sure I'll get all these mixed up. Um, what I do, what I've got here is this is a journal card that I made. It's, I backed it with coffee dyed paper and I stitched around it, but I used white thread. So you really can't see it. I might go back and redo that with some darker thread, but all this is, is just scraps that I collaged. And then I, after I collaged it and it dried, I ran it through my embossing machine. I put it in an embossing folder. I don't know if you can see the, the texture on there. But it's there and it's, I don't know, can you see that? You could always run some ink over it to make it more pronounced. But in person, it really shows up. And then I have this really... I think it's, I'm never going to use this. It's just, it's pretty um, cardstock, but I'm, I, it's with the gold on it, but I'm, it's just not my style. But I didn't want to throw it out or anything. So I ran it through my die cutter with, and made butterflies. And that's what I, I do. I got the idea from somebody in, in some happy mail that they sent me. With die cuts because I'm, I don't have very many dies. And I noticed that they use patterned cardstock. So that's what I do with all my pieces of cardstock. Like when I get a pad of cardstock and there's there's always pages in there that I don't really like or whatever. I just um, save them and use them for die cuts. So let me get rid of this tissue so we can make a mess. So, what I have, let me get our little prototype back over here. What I have are, this is a, a Tim Holtz paper doll, but I don't have very many of those. So, what I, uh, but luckily I have a Cricut. And so, I have a premium membership to Graphics Fairy. And they have a lot of free images on there, too. And I don't know if the people, the little people are free or if you have to be a member. I'm not sure. But there's other places you can get them. And I, I run them through my Cricut. And I cut them out of cardstock. So I have my own little paper dolls. And I don't have to buy them. But if you don't have a Cricut, you definitely can fussy cut them or you can buy the ones that are already cut out that by Tim Holtz. So anyway. 
then I got the butterflies for the wings. So I'm going to put this over to the side. So I've got this card. And I've got the lady and my butterfly. I'm going to grab my cardboard scrap piece. And let's see. I want... Well, I'm going to tear this off right now. I know I don't need all of that for this. So what's I need to see what size I need. Um, yeah, that ought to be good. And I tear it because I like it to be a little rough and ragged. You, you don't have to. You could cut it if you want. I'm still healing up from when I hurt my wrist. Because I'm a dork. Um, I'll tell you that story in a minute. So it actually works out good with the tearing because I have a hard time using my scissors right now. So I'm going to ink this up. Let's see. I don't know. I'm going to try vintage photo, but I don't know if it's going to be dark enough. Oh, yeah, it is. I just, it's dark enough because I just re inked my ink pad. So anyway, I'm just going to. Put this some ink around here. And then I'm also going to run a little bit of ink around the edge of the paper doll. Because it has the white edging. And I don't really want to see that stark white. Okay. Yeah, that's going to work. That's going to work just fine. All right. Now we've got the butterfly. But I am going to have to grab my scissors. Let's see. Oh, let me use these little teeny tiny ones. Maybe they'll work better than my big chomper ones. I'm going to cut. I'm going to cut the antenna off. Because we don't need those. Goodbye. And I can just leave that on there. It's going to be covered up by the lady. Now, do I want. Yeah, I don't think I need to cut. I don't need to cut the butterfly apart. I had a bigger paper doll and the butterfly wasn't big enough I could just cut this and then you wouldn't know that it was cut you could spread the, the wings out so grab my glue and the first thing I'm gonna do is glue the wings on the back of the lady and that's why it's good hmm, to leave as much of this stuff on here as you can and you have something to actually put your glue on. I'm using art glitter glue because it dries quick and also because I love it. When I first started watching uh, paper crafting videos, they said, oh, you can use whatever glue you want. We just use art glitter because it dries so quick and it's awesome. So I'm like, all right, I'm not going to spend the money on that because I'm cheap. Um... Then I finally said, you know what, I'm going to try it. And now it's all I use. Unless I use Fabri-Tac for like fabric or really heavy stuff. Okay, so that's that's what that looks like on the on the cardboard there. That looks pretty cool. Now, does it look... See, I think maybe this journal card is too big. I think it's too big. I mean, I've got a whole stack of them over here. What I do with these is whenever I do a project or whatever and I get scraps, this is what I do to keep my scrap pile from just getting humongous is I'll take whatever I'm working on because usually it pretty much goes together and I'll just cut it in strips and collage it and then you know do some stamping or I'll put a focal point sometimes I don't because I don't know what I'm going to use it for so that's I've got a stack of these over here let me find a little bit smaller one here let's see Yep, I've got a stack. So, let's see. What about this one? Now, this one, I don't have it backed yet. See how when you put it through the embossing folder, it embosses, obviously, through the whole thing. But then when you back it with something, you can still journal on the back of it because it's, it's not all bumpy. But this one I haven't backed yet, and, of course, it's probably going to be perfect. Of course it is. That's all right. I'll just back it when I'm done. And I've got, you know, just all different kinds of whatever. 
they're just scraps, and then I back them with this one. This one I did on cardstock, so I probably won't have to back it, but I still have to run it through the embosser and sew around, and you know. So, oh, look at it. Little baby ones. I'm not going to do them today. Yeah, I think that won't work. I don't need to go through all this mess. All right. And I would round the corners, but again, I can't use my corner rounder. Oh, wait. I have a small one. Just a second. Let me grab it. Dun, da, da. Okay. So let me go ahead and round these corners. Kind of floppy, like I say, because I haven't backed it yet, but I, I will. You don't need to see me lose something on the back, and you know how to glue. Okay. So I've got the wings attached. Let's see. Let me check my writing, make sure I don't. Okay, that's, that's right side up. This is all sideways, so it doesn't matter. Okay. So I think I'm going to go ahead and glue my doll. Not gluing anything with my glue dried up because did I put the pin back in it? Of course not. Oh man. All right. Let's see if that worked. Yep, it did. All right. So, I, how I hurt my wrist. I have a crocodile too, the big chomper one that just uh, sits and all you do is push it down. But I've been seeing people with just the handheld one. And I thought, you know, that just looks so much more convenient. I'm going to get one. So I got one. And what I did not know, because I looked at the directions fairly. Because I'm like, oh, I already know how to use the big one. This one can't be much different, right? And it's not things are just in different places, whatever. But the problem was, here, this is the big one, right? The big number two one. And this is the one that I use. And all you do is you just, how can I do this where you can see it? Oh, push it down, right? And it punches your holes. and. Set your eyelets and all that stuff. But it's big and bulky. And I wanted to get one of the handheld ones. Like this. And uh, now supplies I won't spend a lot of money on. But I do like my tools. And it's all pretty and shiny. And this is a, two sizes of poles that will punch. And then this sets your eyelets. This part. Well, what I didn't realize is that there's all these uh, rivets in here. Okay, if that's how they hold it together. Well, this one right here has a picture of a lock on it. And if you push it in, it will lock this closed. But I didn't know that because I didn't read that part of the directions. So I used it a couple times, and then somehow I must accidentally push this, and it wouldn't come open. So I thought, I'll just brute strength it, you know. this I'm going to beat this thing up. Uh, no, I didn't. I ended up banging it on the counter, and I got it open, and I thought, oh, great, I won. No, what happened was when I banged it, I pushed this button in, <laughs> and it unlocked on its own like it's supposed to. So if you have one of these and that's never happened to you, beware. If it has happened, Check this and make sure it's not sticking out like this. Make sure it's pushed in or pulled out, as the case may be. Don't kill yourself. So anyway, I really strained a tendon or something in my wrist, and I had to have it wrapped up. But now I'm pretty much pain-free, and I want to keep it that way. So I'm not using any of the big tools right now. So anyway, as I digress, getting back to the project. Okay, Let's see. I want to leave... I'm going to put it probably up like this because I want to put a little word or number or labels or something down here. So I'm going to go ahead and let's see. I left on the front of this, I peeled the paper off of the cardboard, but on the back I didn't because it makes it easier 
to glue instead of having to go in all those grooves and everything and then you're only getting a little bit of actual surface that's gluing especially when you're doing something that's embossed because it's bumpy i'm gonna put this over to the side like this because it's bumpy so you never know how much is gonna stick so i want to make sure i get that on there really good is the lady crooked? She is, but she, a little bit. I don't know. I can't tell. You know what? It doesn't matter. She's a fairy anyway. She, she might be a mid-flight. We'll just do that. Um, Did I grab my labels? Oh, wait. Yep. Let me grab Here they are. Here's something else. It's so awesome. I saw this, and I don't know who I saw doing this. With... These uh, photo albums, you don't have to dig through, and it's all laid right out. I absolutely love it. Um, let's see, what are we gonna? What kind of label? Oh, look at that little tag. No, I don't know. Um, but then of course this is the problem. Because I can see them all. Oh, let's try this one. It's got a little bit of that red in there. Problem with this is because you can see them all, it makes it kind of harder to pick. But I, I still like being able to see them all. Okay, that'll work. Put that over there. What did I literally just do? Okay, this needs to be trimmed a little bit. Get these little tiny scissors. I don't even know. I think these came with the trimmer. It was a tool set. When I got my Cricut, it came with it. I, mean, I These are some punked out scissors. They're sharp, but I have fat fingers, so yeah, they're too small. I've got a bigger pair with bigger handles. I'm just going to put some ink around this. To cover up the white part, white part, make it look a little grungy, you know. Well, you don't know, but you will if you watch any of my videos. For the most part, I'm all about the grunge and making stuff look, you know, old and used. And most of my stuff is old and used. I like to make it pretty, but at some point, I start with some junk. There's always some junk in there, like the cardboard and the scraps. All right, do I want to, let's see. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work out pretty good right there. I don't want to spend all day on this one. I wanted to do a couple. All right. I love that little glue bottle, too. So I'm going to put this over here like that. I have to pick this up and really manhandle it. Or, I'm sorry. Uh, Human handle it. I don't know. Anyway, because it's embossed, so I want to make sure that it sticks down really good. And it's, like I say, it's floppy because I didn't put the back on yet. Yeah. But you'll see if, if pretending that that's the backing, then it's, it's not floppy then. I don't know. I like it. I think that was done. Okay. And you got the sparkle from the, from the gold in the wings there. Yeah, that's pretty cute. All right. What else do we have here? Okay, so this one, I've got a dragonfly. I've got some dragonfly wings. Let's, and this little girl, and I'm they're blue, and aqua. But I looked, and whatever scrap this was, it's got almost the same color. So I'm going to use it. This will be covered up with the cardboard, but I'm going to ink. I think I'm going to. I grab my scrap paper. I think I'm going to put a little bit of ink on these, on this, on these wings. You're not going to see that. That's going to be behind the little girl. Mm, careful. And that's going to be behind. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, okay. 
Let me just ink around the edges of her. This is one that I cut out on my Cricut. And I think I'm probably about ready to need to change my blade. But, yeah. I mean, it's it's great. I don't have to fussy cut. It would be crazy. It wouldn't even, wouldn't even look that good. All right, let me get, let's see. Can I use this piece? No, let me just tear another piece off over here of this. Well, I want to make sure that my edges are all torn, so... Is that going to be long enough for her? Yeah. Make sure I leave room for the wings. Boink. All right. So let's see what we've got here. Wings. That gonna work? Oh, that's gonna work. Yeah, I don't know. I think that's a little too straight, though. Let me jaggedy that up a bit. All these technical terms. All right. Yeah, that's better. So let me go ahead and get some more ink on my. Blending makeup brush. Okay. I already inked her, inked that. I need to ink this. I really messed up my ink pads, too. I used the Distressed Oxides, and I got the re-inkers, but I got Distress Ink, so... Of course, I put it on my uh, oxide pads, so they're really, they're weird. But I'm hoping that uh, I've since got the correct, I've got the oxide re -inkers. I'm hoping that it'll work out. Mm, lovely glue, and this is why... <laughs> This is why my fingers are always so grody, because I first I get the glue, then I get the ink, and I walk around looking like, I don't know, like I never wash my hands, but dress me, it's just ink. Yeah, that works, that works. Now, how do I want to put her on here? Um, that way, or... I think that way, because those wings are pretty delicate. All right. I'll go ahead and glue her on there. You could put, like, some, I don't know, some lace or something behind this if you want. I don't want to make them too thick, because I'll eventually put them in a journal or something. And, you know, <laughs> my journals get so chunky, so I kind of have to be careful as I'm making my ephemera and things to go in it to not get it too bulky because it adds up. All right. I might need to tack these wings down with a little bit of glue. I think I will because uh, you never know what, what this thing's going to be going through. Of course, I didn't want to get it on the front. I'll just put it on my hands. I was just complaining about it, but that's why it gets that way. Oh, yeah. Definitely want to tack these down. They're so delicate. Um, yep, okay. Let me do these two. And then we just have to stick this on there. And I didn't even grab my words. I've got some words that'll cut out. See, 
I stuck that on there, but I don't like it. No problem. Oh, and it's already got a label. So you know what? I think we're going to be good with this. I might put a little word or something down there later. Let me go ahead and get this glue down there. I'm telling you, this having this paper on the back of this cardboard is wonderful. I want to make sure I cover that up. And I'll put a, just a little bit of it over that label that's up there. There. Smash it down. This one is embossed, but it's just like a little, uh, like a bumblebee flying around, little dashed line. So it's it's stick, it's getting a good grab on there. It'll be just fine. Okay, so that's two. I did want to do one more because I wanted to show, in case you don't have um, die cuts or whatever, uh, I wanted to use some just printed out butterfly wings. So, let's see. Where is my butterfly folder? I'm telling you, I haven't even I haven't even removed. This is just the stock photo that came in it. But these are all my fussy cut butterflies. I can see every every one that I have. It's just it's amazing. All right. So, I wanted to do a little guy, a little boy, and I had him out at the ready, but I've pulled so many things out, excuse me, that I don't know if I can find him. Oh, here's the little boy. Okay. All right. Here we go. And I was going to use this. This is not embossed. That little piece and this little piece is embossed because that was, the scraps were already embossed, but I didn't emboss this. But I did back it. It feels like it's on file folder, but then I backed it with some coffee dyed paper. So let me see. I've got some green in here. It's purple. Grab my little guy. Um, oh, this one will work. Oh, look, there's even butterflies on there. I didn't even notice. All right, let me... Get this open. And I'm going to pick this one. All right. Let's get this out of here. So. Oh, let me grab my cardboard again. Is this going to look? Let's check it out. How this is going to look. With the, the butterfly wings. Yeah, you know what? I think I want them. I'm going to, these ones I'm going to cut. So I can show you what I was talking about. So you just cut it in half. Sorry, butterfly. And then when you glue it on, you can glue it. You can spread it out. I'll have to do a little trimming on this butterfly because... I used my Cricut to cut it out with it and messed it up. And you, you can angle them however you want them. But it, it makes it, you can take a smaller blood of butterfly and use it on a bigger person. So let me just trim this up real quick. Because that is going to show and I don't want that to show. There, that'll work. Okay, let me ink this, the edges of this up real quick. And this one, just to knock some of that white down. And I'll go ahead and do my little guy. Okay. This, I already inked when I made it, looks like. Now I got to... I'm going to go ahead and glue the, the wings on my little man here. Please, with this glue already. Try it again. Okay. And the 
this one. I cut it and I didn't even really put it any farther out. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, it needed to be cut. Yeah, it was just a little bit, but just to know. All right, so we got that on there. We're going to use this as the card. Let me look at my print. I've got some book page down here, so I don't want that. I don't want it to be upside down. It's not the end of the world if it is. And let's see how big of a piece do I want this. Just about right there will be good. Go ahead and get this torn. Oink. The sound effects are free. There's no extra charge. All right. Two straight. I have a hard time because it's like I want it to be not straight, but I don't want it to look like I purposely made it not straight. Yeah, that'll work. Oh, I'm a messy crafter, by the way. You see me just slinging this stuff everywhere. If it's not part of the solution, it's part of the problem. Well, is that too short? I mean, sh I don't want to have his feet hanging off. How am I going to? Yeah, it doesn't matter if the wings are up there. He could fly off at any minute. Okay. Go ahead and get him adhered to the cardboard. Right. Since the wings are going to be hanging off, I'm not putting any glue on them yet. Because I don't want to have a bunch of glue all over everywhere, like on the back of his head. No problem. Who was it that said they didn't like glue all over their fingers? Mm -hmm. You know what I did? I forgot to ink my cardboard. No worries. I'll just do it now. And there goes the ink on my fingers to stick to the glue. All right. And I like how that it's it's 3D. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and get this bad boy glued down here. So I think I'm gonna put him about in the middle. I mean, from the sides. It's it's up from the bottom because I want to put put something down here. But you get the gist of how to do these things. I'm not going to uh, make you suffer through me trying to find a label. You know what? You're going to suffer because I want to put a label. Let's see. I made I made these myself out of packing paper that came in something and I just stamped on them and then cut them out. What have we got here? I've got some numbers that I also made. Here we go. Let's see. Number 05337. These are just scraps. A file folder. They take the ink so well. Um, so whatever I have little scraps like that, I just stamp on them, ink them up, and they're done. I feel like I, it needs something else down there with it. See, I knew this was going to happen. Just why I was just going to not do it. You know what? I'm not going to put anything because I don't want to cover up this green down here because it matches the wings. So we're just going to put this here, and we're not going to layer it. And it's going to be fine. The layering police are never going to see this. So what they don't know won't hurt them. And there goes my glue. Splooging out. But what are you going to do? Fingers look at. 
Anyway, so what do we end up with here? This is what we started with. What were these two? And these are the ones that I made. Um, I'm just going to let you be the judge of what you think. I Honestly, I never like what I make. So I don't know if they're good or not. But this is what I came up with. It gives me some options. You know, I'll switch them out and do different things. The possibilities are endless because you can go on the internet and find the butterflies. And butterflies are easy to fussy cut. I mean, they're a pain. But they're easy because most of the time I just take cut the antenna off anyway. And that's the hardest part. Um, so, yeah, you don't have to have a die cutter. You don't have to have a cricket. You don't have to have anything. You can find pictures online and just cut them out with scissors and find some junk and glue them on there. And there you go. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.